South Auckland raid leads to record meth bust, breakthrough cancer therapy steps up a gear, and Donald Trump faxes his fourth indictment in less than five months. Atamaria, I'm Sherry Kinnear, and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. A meth operation linked to a man's death has led police to carrying out New Zealand's biggest ever drug bust. Almost 750 kilograms of meth were grabbed from a South Auckland warehouse. The drugs were in bottles of kombucha and honey bear house bear. A man died in Auckland Hospital in March after drinking a can of the laced bear. Massey University drug researcher Chris Wilkins says the growing scale of seizures matches with the other stats about the growing problem. The price of a gram of meth has actually been declining for the last four years and that's really consistent with the wastewater testing that's been going on, increased use. Today marks four weeks since Yan Fei Bao disappeared in Christchurch. Despite continuing extensive searches, the 44-year-old's body hasn't been found. A 52-year-old man pleaded not guilty to murder and kidnapping in the Christchurch District Court yesterday in relation to Bow's disappearance. Police are appealing for information about a brand new spade and a white tracksuit with red stripes. They may have been discarded in Christchurch between January 19th and 22nd. Scientists are scaling up production of a breakthrough cancer therapy undergoing a first-of-its-kind medical trial in New Zealand. Over the past six years, a Maligan Institute-led effort has been developing a new generation of CAR T-cell therapy where a patient's own immune or T-cells are genetically modified to recognise and destroy their cancer. Results have so far been promising with preliminary data supporting an expansion of the clinical trial programme. Police have revealed more information about a recent sighting of missing Marakopa man Tom Phillips. They say Phillips recently bought a large amount of equipment at two bunning stores in Waikato. He picked up headlamps, batteries, seedlings, buckets and gum boots using a large amount of cash. Police say what he bought suggests he may have been setting up a campsite. They say their priority is still to find Phillips and his three children. And former US President Donald Trump's facing his fourth indictment in less than five months. He's been charged in Georgia with attempting to overturn his 2020 election defeat. A phone call's emerged of him pressuring a Georgia Secretary of State to find votes. Prosecutors believe the call's an essential piece of evidence. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.